nice day everyone Blessed day, everyone. Thank you. The Secrets Criminology made it easy for the invitation. Like what the Dean of the University of the Cordilleras and that the Dean of the Tarla State University previously stated, it is the time for criminology schools nationwide to collaborate in enhancing the quality of criminology education in the nation. In my presentation, I would like to discuss with you important topics under the criminalistics or forensic courses that we must include in the preparation for the criminologist licensure examination. The uh, first topic that I will be discussing with you is the uh, fingerprint pattern. One of the fingerprint patterns is the look. Loops must have the uh, one delta and one or more ridges that enter and leave on the same side. These patterns are named for the positions related to the ridges and all the bones. We have here the figure showing the hand where the all the bone and ridges bone are located. Giving you further illustration to determine where is the regal loop or when we can say it is a regional loop or an ulnar loop. Using the right hand, you, you can notice there the arrow. The arrow is pinpointing towards the regus bone. Therefore, the figure is showing a regional loop. On the other figure, using the same hand, which is the right hand, the arrow is pinpointing towards the ulna bone. Thus, the uh, figure is an ulnar loop. The next fingerprint pattern is the whirl. Whirls have at least one race that makes a complete circuit. They also have at least two deltas. If a print has more than two deltas, it is most likely an accidental. Finger the confusion here is when we can say that the fingerprint pattern is a plane world or central pocket world. So what we have to do is to draw a line between the two deltas in the plane and central pocket worlds. If some of the curved ridges touch the line, it is a plane world. If none of the center core touches the line, it is the central pocket world. Okay, let's do this. Let us place an imaginary line from one delta to another delta. Since the figure shows that there are um, curved ridges touch the line, thus this figure is a plane world. While the other figure, placing an imaginary line from the, from the left delta towards the right delta, it shows no center core ridges touch the line, thus it is a central packet world. The next topic is about the uh, fingerprint classification. The first classification that must have to be resolved is the primary classification, followed by the secondary classification. Next is the sub-secondary classification. Next is the final classification, followed by the major classification, and the last one is the K classification. Six system. Additionally, it may become seven division upon the addition of the second subsecondary classification. So where we can place or where this sub uh, where this second subsecondary classification can be placed uh, Place. It is placed on top of the uh, subsecondary classification. The next topic is about the branches of ballistics. The first branch of the ballistics is the interior 
or internal ballistics. It refers to the properties and attributes of the projectile or the bullet while inside the gun. Any motions or behaviors of the projectile while inside the gun barrel. So this is an example of the movement or behavior of the projectile while inside the gun barrel. So while still inside the gun barrel, it is called internal or interior ballistics. The next branch is the transitional ballistics. Transitional ballistics, also known as intermediate ballistics. It is the study of projectiles behavior from the time it leaves the muzzle until the pressure behind the projectile is equalized. It lies between the internal ballistics and external ballistics. The next branch is the exterior or the external ballistics. It refers to the attributes and movements of the bullet after it has left the gun muzzle, but after the reaction of the transitional ballistics. I will be showing you a video for you to understand. You can see here the behavior. So that is transitional and followed by the external ballistics after the reaction of transitional ballistics. The next branch of ballistics is the terminal ballistics. Terminal ballistics is the study of behavior of a projectile when it hits the target. Moving on, next topic is about the question document examination. Here, a multiple choice type of question. A genuine signature which has been used to prepare imitated or trace signature is known as. So we, have, we do the eliminating method. First, A, exemplar. If you're going to look at the next choice, which is the standard signature, they are both the same. Standard signature is the old, uh, old standard term is the oldest term. And exemplar is the term being used by the uh, experts or even the lawyers. So removing the exemplars and standard signatures. So we only have two choices left. Which one is the correct? Well, of course, it is the model signature. The model signature is one that is being used to prepare, to trace, or to being used by the uh, a forger to imitate, imitate signature. So it is not natural variation, but it is a model signature. Next question, it refers to the usual or normal deviations found in a repeated specimen of individual's handwriting. Uh, it's not a forgery. It's not a permanent damage. The question is, it is only a normal deviations. It is a useful. Thus, it's not a disguised writing, but it's, it is a natural variation. Here is an example, looking at on my handwriting, the execution of letter W shows different uh, terminal strokes, but they are made by the same person and they are all genuine. But the transition of the execution of the ending strokes shows a natural variation. Then moving forth, let's move on the on the uh, polygraph subject. Attachment of the uh, polygraph components to the subject. First to be attached is the pneumograph, followed by the galvano skin resistance or the galvanograph, and the last one is the hydrospimogram. Pertaining on the detachment of the components, we must begin first from the last component that was 
attached. So therefore, the last component attached must be the one to be detached first. So the first component to be detached is the cardiospemograph followed by the galvano skin resistance and the next is the pneumograph. So, so that's all for now. I would like to finish my presentation by giving you a word of God. Proverbs 16 verse 3 says, Commit your actions to the Lord and your plans will succeed. Matthew 6 verse 33, But seek first the kingdom of God in his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. God bless everyone. Love you.